What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you saw this short video, you would know that I snapped my throttle cable on the Big Boy TSR 250. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do the replacement of the throttle cable. Now this fix might work for most of the bikes in the Big Boy range because it seems like they use the same parts bin parts for their entire motorcycle range. So I do hope this video does add value. If it does, please consider giving it a thumbs up and maybe even hit that subscribe button down below somewhere because it goes a long way in supporting this channel let's take it away so the first thing I do is unscrew the cover for the throttle slide this cover keeps pressure on a spring which is used to push the throttle slide back down the next task is to pull the throttle slide out from the carburetor body Well, it's not so easy because it's stuck up against the tank. <laughs> I thought this would be easier. Okay, well, this five minute job just turned into a two hour job because it seems that the tank on the TSR 250 is a lot bigger than on the Velocity 150 and the throttle slide actually makes contact with the tank and so I'm gonna have to make some sort of other plan to get it out looks like I got to pull the tank off too didn't expect that and just like that the side quest to pull off the plastics and the seat had started But now that I was able to lift the tank, pulling the throttle slide out was a piece of cake. Armed with a new throttle cable, I decided I need an easy way to feed it back to the throttle body. So I took the new cable and used some insulation tape to connect it to the old cable. And then I'd feed the new cable through along the same route to the throttle body by gently pulling along the old cable. The next step was to remove the old cable from the throttle slide, which is pretty easy to do, because all you got to do is guide it out along this slot on the side of the slide. Installing the new cable onto the throttle body is fairly simple. First you put on the rubber cap, followed by the end cap. And next you will put on the spring. Next you're going to want to compress the spring so that you can put the cable through the throttle slide. Note to go from the inside out because otherwise it won't work. The throttle slide has this groove, which needs to line up with the idle screw on the carburetor. Otherwise, you're gonna have a little bit of a problem when you start the bike up, despite having been warned that this might happen. Once you got it all lined up, you wanna make sure that that throttle slide goes all the way down to the bottom of the throttle body. Then you'll push the spring down and finally put back the cap onto the top of the carburetor. Make sure that this is seated correctly because you do not want to cross thread this cap. You'll want to verify that the throttle slide has a full range of motion and snaps back into place when you release the throttle cable. And now for the moment of truth. Now we'll go ahead and connect the new throttle cable into the throttle tube. We'll start by releasing these screws. The bottom half of this clamp has this plastic cable guide. You do not want to lose that thing. 
Now I need to remove the old bit of the throttle cable, which is still attached to the throttle tube. I will turn out the old tension adjuster and insert the cable into the bottom half of the throttle tube clamp. I'll then turn the tension adjuster all the way in to its loosest setting. The next trick is to line the throttle tube clamp up at the bottom and to put the new cable into the throttle tube. I find this easiest to release the throttle tube all the way to its loosest setting and attach the pin of the throttle cable to the throttle tube. Next I'll line up the bottom of the clamp and the plastic cable guide and play around with the throttle tube to make sure that I've got the correct free play. Then I'll install the top of the clamp and secure it tightly again with the same screws. A little bit of alignment is necessary, but once you're happy that it's in the right place, you're good to go. Next I'll take out as much free play in the throttle tube as possible by screwing out the tension adjuster. It's unlikely though that you'll get all the free play out of the cable and you should make sure that you've got at least two threads holding onto the bottom clamp before you tighten the tightening nut. Finally, I'll install the dust seal and make sure that everything is hooked up again. Now that everything's been done, I can start reassembling the bike. But while all the plastics are off, I'll take a quick moment to clean everything up, seeing as this area doesn't get cleaned very often. Reattaching the seat becomes a bit of an alignment challenge, especially because I've still got the top box on. But this isn't the first time I've worked on the seat, so it's pretty easy for me to put it back together. Well, ladies and gents, boys and girls, that is how you install a throttle cable on a big boy TSR250 and potentially other big boy motorcycles. I need to say a huge thank you to the gents at Big Boy Strand for helping guide me through this installation process as logistically it was not possible for me to get my bike to their shop in order to do this install. I also want to say a huge thank you to my patrons over on patreon.com for supporting this channel. Patrons are people who give a couple of bucks every month to help keep this channel going and as a little bit of a reward they get early access and exclusive access to some of my content. As an example, this video was published on Patreon a whole week before it went live on YouTube. So if you want to catch some early access to some of the stuff that's going on in my life, do be sure to consider becoming a Patreon. Other than that guys, remember, life is going to throw a ton at you. But whatever it does, don't look down, look ahead. And until next time, ride safe.